going on y'all it's your guy C Paris today I'm in here and I'm gonna show y'all how to make stickers on your inkjet printer and where to get the sticker paper from me personally I print them out when I make a sale so whatever my design is on my t-shirt I print out that sticker add it into the into the packaging along with a 12 going apparel sticker a thank you letter and an invoice you know just for some added incentive so like here's one i'm gonna show y'all how i package it up in the end but if y'all haven't already like comment subscribe man i'll see y'all in a sec before i forget joe from hard and hustle printing just opened up a store called the vinyl stand and he made me an affiliate, gave me an affiliate link. So y'all go mess with Joe. He said to give me five vinyl over there that presses in four seconds. I got a video coming on that. He sent me some samples to do a video with. So y'all go hit that link, man. If you want to help out the channel when you buy your vinyl, you can help out me. You can help out Joe over Hard and Hustle Printing. Also, I have some Amazon links down there you can check out. If y'all want to support the channel, appreciate y'all. Dream in my eye. I be an example to myself in the tears that I cry. Amazon. Dot com. You trying to give me type in printable sticker paper. Or you could have put in printable sticker paper for inkjet. Scroll down to this here. AIVA. AVA, I guess. It's fifteen forty-five for fifteen forty-five for fifteen sheets, or you can get fifty for thirty-one ninety-five. I ordered 15 initially because I didn't know if it was going to work. But just place your order and that's that deal. All right, so we're going to jump in Affinity Designer now, set it up. You can use Photoshop, Illustrator, GIMP, whatever you got. I just use Affinity Designer because it's a little simpler to me. I have Photoshop, but use this. Um, Affinity, and I'm gonna set my document up to eight and a half by eleven because that's what I have. So I'm gonna bring in a design. I think I'll use the 2020. Made it hard for me to made it hard to breathe because this is my best seller right here. So I'll use these stickers, and I'll probably just end up just throwing them in with a shirt or whatever. Hat, mask, whatever they buy, just as an extra freebie with the 12 on apparel sticker. Um, I actually deleted my file, so I gotta go back to that. Open up. I'm gonna put a black background behind it so the white will show up in the design. my layers, put the box in the underneath, size it at three inches by three inches, then I'll just uh, control C, control V to copy and paste it. I don't know why I just did that, but control C, control V from here, paste it. I'll just make a row. So it ended up being a row of four. It's kind of situating. I'm going to group them. So that I can just copy and paste it to the next one. I messed up right there. I accidentally 
group the black box with it. I don't want that. Let's cut that off now. I'll group it. Turn them all off by mistake. Group it. Control C, Control V. To copy and paste. Looks like I can get three rows, so that'll be 12 stickers. So we'll move that over a little bit to fit in this third row. So that's 12 three inch stickers on an 11 by 18. I mean, eight, uh, eight and a half by 11, excuse me. Situate them. In this design, I typically sell on a black t-shirt. I've only sold on a black t-shirt, black hoodie, black hat, black mask, or a black background is perfect for it. But like I say, this is my best seller. I've sold a lot of these t-shirts, a few hoodies, a few masks, a few hats. For whatever reason, people love this design. I wear it everywhere I go. I got a hat, I got a mask. I got a um, hoodie that I wear everywhere I go. I get comments and I've sold some to random people just seeing me in it. It's going to 7-Eleven or something. Or just many drinks or something. Um, I... So now we're going to export it. I just exported it as a PNG with background. Doesn't matter. Um, then from there, I'm going to see y'all in Silhouette Studio. So we're in silhouette now. Let me find my file, open it up. So there, I, I just print out a silhouette. I've never printed out of anything other than silhouette, so it's just a habit for me to bring them in here. You don't have to do this. You can print out of whatever program you designed it in, put it together in. So I set my canvas, eight and a half by 11. Fit it in there. Place it in there. Just print. Put my preferences. You want to, your preferences on high. You want to put it on the photo paper glossy. Gotta redo that because I did that first, but print quality high, photo paper glossy. And print. stickers printed I did make them a little crooked wasn't paying attention but it's all good so I got my cutter I normally use scissors but 
I bought this like last week after watching a Mike T's video. Shout out Mike T's. Check out his videos. But he was using it to cut some cotton subs and it just looks so nice. So, so I'll just do that. So sharp, nice, clean, crisp cut. through this but for the sake of the video y'all get the idea just cut them up I won't cut them all but so there's your sticker get this out the way I actually have a shirt I need to bag up, so we'll just do it in a video. So there's my shirt. Homemade 12 gun apparel tag. I'm trying to dial them in, though. So, typically what I do, I got my bags. stickers these I bought from sticker mule a little while a few weeks ago I've been running through them the next batch I bought these before I start making them so next batch I'm making some 12 on apparel stickers so got the, the sticker that's what's on the shirt got my 12 on apparel sticker in there Normally I would put the paperwork in, but I don't have none of that print. But I put a paperwork in there, the invoice in there, thank you letter in there with it. But the stickers are just a nice touch. They're not expecting them. Bag. So these are the envelopes I used. Stick it in there. Little poly mailers. I think I got 200 of them for $15 on Amazon. Paperwork, pile them up, bam, and then that's it. So off camera, I'll finish cutting these stickers up. And I just got a little box that I keep the stickers in. That one, that's one of the ones I was off, but you got the idea of how easy it is. And you just give your client just some extra they didn't ex they didn't expect, and it just looks good. So there you go.